Let's compare the flat and top spin serves side by side of Lorenzo Musetti. Now this video is courtesy of 12 KGP Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. So first, let's have a look at Lorenzo's first serve. And now, let's look at his topspin serve. Alright, so the flat serve is on the left, the topspin serve is on the right. We're going to go over four main differences. Let's go over the first one. The toss placement. Here's the flat. We're going to go to contact. And I'm going to draw a straight line down from the ball. Ooh, that was terrible. Let's do this. Here we go. That's pretty good. So just look where the line goes through his head. This is on the flat serve, and I'll show you. It's the flat serve down the tee, acing Hachanov. So now here's the topspin serve, and let's look at the contact. Now we actually don't see the contact, so I'm going to use this ball placement here. Look at the difference. That yellow line on the flat on the left goes through his head. The yellow line does not go through the head on the right for the topspin. That means the topspin serve is more left. As a right-hander, you want to toss more left when you are hitting a topspin serve. That's the first thing. And I'll explain why in a second. Uh, but that's the first idea I want you to keep track of. I know a lot of coaches talk about disguising the toss so that your opponent doesn't know what type of serve you're going to hit. But let's be honest, when we try to do that as recreational players, we really have very little difference between the serves <laughs> that we're hitting. And so we might as well just accentuate the differences in the serves by actually having different tosses. I mean, what is your opponent really going to do with the information, right? Um, we, most times we're going to hit the topspin serve on second serve anyway, so they already know when we're, when we're going to do it. So don't worry about disguising. Just hit your best serves, and if it means using different tosses, then do so. The second idea, how sideways he is on the topspin serve. Let's look at the flat serve. And what you'll notice is his body is facing more forward at contact than on the topspin serve. His body is more to the right on the topspin and it's facing more forward on the flat serve. This is critical because it allows for the swing path to be correct. And I'll explain that as the fourth idea we talk about. So the first idea, toss more left if you're right-handed on a topspin serve. The second idea is keep your body more sideways when you're hitting a topspin serve. Here's the third idea. This is critical. This is one of the least understood concepts for recreational players attempting to hit a topspin serve. Remember, the flat is on the left. I have that yellow line as the highest his flat serve reaches. You'll notice he is contacting when his racket is at its highest point. Now, you'll notice how the arm and the racket are not in a straight line. That's what you want. You want that. You want there to be a difference. You want this angle. It's the fastest way to move the racket and pronate. So you don't want the arm, for instance, and the racket to be in a straight line like that. It would be wrong for his racket to be straight above his arm. It's not going to be the fastest way to move the racket and pronate. So you want the racket on the inside of the hand as you're hitting a flat serve. Notice his racket is at its highest point. So if we just move the racket through contact, contact is his highest point. It goes up to the yellow line. He's hitting the ball, and now it comes down from the yellow line. Let's go to when his racket is the highest on a topspin serve. You'll notice with the top spin, he is reaching at his high, he's reaching the racket's highest point after he hits the ball. At contact, he's reaching the highest on the flat. The highest contact, sorry, that his highest reach is after contact on a top spin. What does that mean? He is going up as he hits the ball. Something that players don't realize is on a flat serve, you're going to reach your highest but on a t at contact. But on the uh, topspin serve, you want to allow the ball to drop so that you can be going up as you're hitting. So be more patient on your topspin serve. Allow the ball to drop a little bit. 
So you can actually contact lower and you can be going up. That's the key to getting the 45 degree angle spin on a top spin serve. You want the ball to have some side spin, but you also want it to have some top spin. That's why it's a 45 degree spin. And we can see that shown in the ball. Look at the path of the ball. Look how the ball curves in the air. See the ball curve. But then when it bounces, it actually kicks back to the right again. And instead of it going left, it actually straightens out, which is relative to the ball kicking to the right. So when you are hitting a topspin serve, please do not reach up as high as you can and try to curl over the ball because that's not what happens. And we'll talk about that with the swing path. You don't curl over the ball. Allow the ball to drop and actually contact lower than on a flat serve so you can be going up still as you hit. What ends up happening is people contact the ball as high as they can reach on a topspin serve. And what do they get? They get all side spin. And they wonder why they can't get topspin. Allow the ball to drop, contact lower than you normally do, so you can be going up. Think of topspin ground strokes. You swing low to high. You got to be going up as you hit the ball. And if you contact as high as your highest reach, you can't be going up during that point. Otherwise, it wouldn't be your highest reach. So we want to be going up, so allow that ball to drop. Now let's look at the swing path. Because his body is a little bit more open on the flat serve, Lorenzo is swinging more into the ball. In fact, if we just pay attention to his hand and we pay attention to this ATP symbol in the background, look how his hand is traveling toward basically that ATP symbol right there. Don't worry about the racket. Just think about his hand. Now, obviously, he's pronating, strings are facing left, strings are facing right, a, a ton of internal shoulder rotation, very flexible, right? But notice on the topspin serve, his hand is going more to the right. His hand is not traveling toward that ATP sign right here in the background. He's swinging more right. That's because he's keeping his body more to the right and swinging more to the right. Let's look at his racket path on the topspin. So it's basically a rainbow. So the racket goes like this. Watch his racket follow that line. There's the pronation. Strings are facing back to the back fence when he's done. So you're going to pronate on every single serve. And mo you have to feel like most of the pronation is after contact. That's the swing thought you got to have. After you hit the ball, pronate. It's not 100% true, but it actually is the swing thought to do the correct thing. He is swinging to the right as he hits the ball. Here's the swing path. His contact was below the highest point. That way he was still going up at that point and then he swings down afterward. That's the key to getting topspin. Obviously, he, as I mentioned, he pronates on both of them. Last thing you'll see to kind of prove how he opens up a little bit more on the flat serve, watch how he lose track of his left hand. As the left hand drops right there, we don't see his left hand. But watch on this one, we always, on the topspin, we never lose track of his left hand as it drops. That's just because his body is facing more to the side to allow his racket path to swing more left to right as a right-hander, where his body opens up and he sw swings more into the back to hit this really powerful ace. So adjust those key ideas and your flat and topspin serves will be amazing. Now, if you're tired of lugging around your heavy and cumbersome ball machine to the courts to practice, then you've got to check out the Proton Ball Machine by Hydrogen Sports. And right now, you can get free shipping in the USA when you take advantage of my coupon code at checkout, and it's 2-Minute underscore Proton. The link is in the description, but it'll also be right on the screen at the end of this video. The Proton is fully programmable using its intuitive app, holds up to 100 balls and weighs less than 20 pounds. To check out the Proton, click the link in the description. Remember my coupon code for free shipping, 2-Minute underscore Proton. Now, if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, maybe you're looking for a local league at your level, or you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. So click right here to check out the Proton Ball Machine, and go out and film your serve comparing the flat and top spin. and if you do, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.